Good morning, everyone. How are we doing today? So, I had one of those mornings, you guys, where everything was going great. The kids were in really great moods. They were pumped to go to school. We were on time for once. Getting into the car or running out to the car, Levi slipped and fell in the driveway and skinned both of his knees. So, we went from being on time to 10 minutes late, 900 Spongebob band-aids and lots of hugs in the driveway later. I was covered in dirt. He's covered in blood. I just hate when that happens where you have this momentum. Literally, he had momentum. <laughs> and then all of a sudden everything changes. But isn't that just such a metaphor for the way we all live? Minute to minute things change. You could be having the best day of your life and then have a few minutes where it's not. But I'm going to shake that off and I'm going to have a really great day. I think my kids are just, in they've inherited my clumsiness. I am extremely clumsy. If someone's going to trip and fall or get hurt, it's me. So Levi definitely inherited that from me. I don't have a crazy, crazy day today. I have some work stuff that I need to get done. I also have a chiropractor appointment this morning and it's an assessment to see how my care has been treating my body for the last couple of months. So I'm excited to see if there's any changes on my x-ray and then I'm gonna, I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do. I guess like an Amanda day in the life. There'll probably be a little bit of food and a whole lot of chit chat. So <laughs> I hope you're having a really great day so far. Oh, before I forget, this is really important to me. Two things. One, my e-cookbook is going to be ready very, very soon. You guys are going to be able to purchase it through Amazon, and it's going to be a collection of almost 50 of my most beloved recipes. You guys will be able to download it and print it out. That's number one. Number two, I have a Keto Ginger Facebook page. Not the Keto Ginger Kitchen Facebook group, but the Keto Ginger page. I will leave a link down below. Please go over to the Keto Ginger page. Give it a like and a follow. I'm trying to build my following on Facebook because that is going to help me help you guys. So if you haven't given it a like, I would really appreciate it. So that's what we're doing. I'm going to run into Duncan and get a large black coffee. And then I'm going to the chiropractor. I'll see you guys in a little bit. It's really bright. All right, I just got back from the chiropractor, got back from running errands. Today was really awesome at the Cairo because it was an assessment. Basically, they compared what my intake was like a couple of months ago when I had this whole issue with my neck and happy to say that things are moving right along. I have never felt better. I'm not going to sit here and push you to go to the chiropractor, but I am going to tell you I had a lot of ailments and physical things that were happening to me at work that have just changed dramatically since I started getting regular chiropractic care. So if you're on the fence, I highly recommend it. <laughs> so when I went to Aldi, I basically had to just get fruit for the kids. But you ever walk the grocery store and in the moment you're like, that's what I'm eating for dinner? That's what I did. So I picked up a Boston butt, so now I'm craving shredded pork for dinner. It sounds absolutely delicious. So I am going to get this Boston butt in the crock pot and then I'm gonna clean my house like a lunatic. I have a lot of energy today. I had been feeling under the weather, so my house has definitely taken the hit. I'm gonna clean my butt off. But I want to show you what I do to the pork in the crock pot to make it an incredible barbecue shredded pork that's keto friendly. Let's Aldi has the best pricing on Boston butts. This is almost a seven pound Boston butt and it was only $12, so I'm into that. I don't do a lot of measuring when it comes to the seasonings on this because it is so much meat. You can be pretty liberal and still keep it super low carb. So I have it set on high. I am going to give it a dusting of garlic powder. Next, some onion powder paprika. I am also going to add some brown sugar swerve. We like a sweeter pork. This is going to be about half a cup of brown sugar swerve. Salt and pepper. And last but certainly not least, I'm going to add some Alterna Sweets barbecue sauce. Now, I don't add a crazy amount of barbecue sauce while this is cooking. One, I don't want to waste it. 
Two, I like to add it at the end right before I eat it. So I'm gonna put just a little drizzle of the barbecue sauce. Now, lid goes on, and this will be an absolutely magical dinner in about eight hours. I cannot wait. So that's all there is to the Boston butt. It's going to be a beautiful, shredded, delicious pork. I will probably just do some deviled eggs or something as a side dish, but my stomach is already growling just thinking about it. So how nice for me too, to have dinner done already. I love that for me. It's super early in the day. Dinner's already planned. Dan is gonna be stoked. <sighs> We're gonna smash the day. I hope your day's going amazing. Really didn't have a solid plan about the vlog today, so we're just gonna see where it takes us. Love you guys. My trusty helper has arrived. Are you mixing? Yeah, I wanna mix it. You wanna mix it? What now? What now? Uh-oh. I love you. I need the ketchup. You need the ketchup? It's not ketchup, it's hot sauce. I need the hot sauce. Can you say hi? Hi. Hi YouTube. So I created a monster when I let him make soup with me the other day. He basically has wanted to cook and stir absolutely everything ever since. It's so cute. I love when they cook with me. Uh, it's some of my favorite memories growing up cooking with family. So I hope they grow up loving to cook like I do. All right, let's get these deviled eggs done. Somehow the clip of me mixing the deviled egg mixture got deleted. I have no idea what is happening, but it was super easy. I took my egg yolks, I added a squirt of sriracha, a little bit of mayonnaise, a little bit of yellow mustard, salt and pepper, that's it. Then I topped them with bacon and everything but the bagel seasoning. So future Amanda here letting you know that I had a whoopsie. It's one of those days. This is my favorite trick for deviled eggs to use a rubber spatula and put the egg mixture into a Ziploc bag. Then you can snip off the tip and use it just like a piping bag and it makes the most beautiful yeah. deviled eggs. Uh-oh, just pretend. Got my little Ziploc bag. Snip off the tip, then easy to fill them on up. Remember how I said that I wasn't getting fancy? I may have lied a bit. I had some crumbled bacon in the fridge from the bacon bits that I made the other day, so I'm going to go ahead and top these with a little bit of crumbled bacon. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of everything but the bagel seasoning. Everything but the bagel. And that's all there is to it. Sriracha, garlic, deviled eggs with crumbled bacon and everything but the bagel seasoning. Aren't they beautiful? Some days it comes really easily for me to be able to do all of the things. My full-time job, momming, vlogging, all of that. And some days it's a little bit harder. I hope you guys understand that sometimes it's noisy in my house, sometimes my kids are everywhere, sometimes things come in a really concise, neat little package. That's just part of my life and I love sharing that absolute realness with you guys and sometimes that means chaos. <laughs> Thankfully, it's almost time for baths. Day in a life <laughs> this is what you asked for, right? <laughs> I just used a slotted spatula to pull the pork butt out of the crock pot because it released an absurd amount of liquid. If I were to shred it in all of that liquid, I would end up with so much marbleized fat when I was trying to store it. So I just like to separate it a little bit. So now it's time to spatulate. Spatulators, mount up. Oh, it's corny. Probably should have used a bigger bowl, but you get the idea. Nope, not gonna happen. That is better. Now I can get crazy with it. You never wanna be forced to be careful with your spatulator. The more you get in there and the more power you give it, the finer it shreds up. Now this cooked on high for eight hours and as you can see, it's just disintegrating. 
the absolute perfect pulled pork every time. I like smoked pork, but I'll tell you, the crock pot makes it so much easier and you can just set it and forget it. Spatulator. Spatulate. Spatulator. Spatulate. Yeah, buddy. Now we're gonna have pulled pork for the rest of the week and I am psyched. All right, here is plated dinner. I can't promise that I won't come back for some more eggs, but I always like to make a smaller plate and judge my hunger that way. When I make a big loaded giant plate, I tend to eat more and I end up eating too much. So I put a little bit of my Alterna Sweets barbecue sauce right on top here because it's just legendary with pork, but that's it. Let's make Dan eat an egg. I hope you guys have enjoyed this weird and wacky day in the life. I know that there was not a lot of rhyme or reason to today's vlog, but this is what Thursday looked like. <laughs> Thursdays are nuts. It was a really busy day. So we are going to go eat dinner and probably watch a movie. Here, you want an egg? Can you feed me? Um, yes. Mm -hmm. Bacon. Sriracha, garlic, deviled mm. eggs. Mm. They're spicy. They're tasty. They're making Dan touch himself. Mm. Oh, they're so good. Those are delicious. Mm. Those are really good. Those are great. Um, the sriracha isn't too overpowering. If you like them spicy, go heavy handed with it. Like I told you before, I accidentally deleted the footage, but the good news is I wasn't really measuring anything. I just kind of eyeballed it. Do we really ever measure anything? Else? No, but I will leave the exact recipe for sriracha deviled eggs down below because I goofed on that. But it's delicious. So good. We love you guys. We are so thankful for all of your support and all of your love. Please don't forget to go and like the Keto Ginger page on Facebook and join the Keto Ginger Kitchen Facebook group if you are not yet uh, affiliated. A lot of awesome people in there. Do it. We're really proud of the community. It's the nicest group of people ever. That's it. We love you guys. We'll see you really soon. Have the best night of your lives.